Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, just looking at this theft in the second degree. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, a person is guilty of theft in the second degree. Mm -hmm. If he or she commits theft of property or services, mm -hmm. which exceeds $750 in value, but does not exceed $5,000 in value, mm -hmm. other than a firearm as defined in RCW, mm -hmm. 9.41.010 or a motor vehicle yeah. a public record writing or instrument kept filed or deposited mm -hmm. according to law with or in the keeping of any public office or public servant yes now uh, there has been filed uh -huh, a public record writing and an instrument yes uh, according to law or not according to law. <clears throat> now, let's see. I informed law enforcement, yes, that you issued a dissolution of marriage where I did not get any notice of court hearings. Right. <laughs> I didn't get any of the actual documentation. <clears throat> the marriage certificate was issued from the United Nations. <laughs> yes. And um, you had me arrested yesterday. Yes. <clears throat> For a Class C felony, <clears throat> now we have looked at the differences between gross misdemeanor, misdemeanor, and then felonies. <laughs> felonies, you can go to prison for those. Oh, <laughs> now this threat of incarceration, right. Uh, when I informed you of the crime <laughs> of issuing child support orders uh, without an actual signature from myself as having any proof of service before having court hearings yes now the theft in the first degree yes mm -hmm. property or services which exceed five thousand dollars of value other than a firearm yeah property of any value other than a firearm as defined in rcw 9.41.010 yes uh a search and rescue dog yeah mm. Uh, while the search and rescue dog is on duty. Yes. Commercial metal property, non-ferrous metal property, or private metal property of those terms is defined to exceed $5,000 in value. <laughs> now, uh, the RCW 9A.56030 does not include the definitions of the Class C felony. Yep. Yeah. That happens to be theft in the second degree. A person is guilty of theft in the second degree mm -hmm. if she or he or she commits a theft of uh, a public record. Oh, that means you would have had to take the dissolution of marriage. Or you would have issued a dissolution of marriage uh -huh. that was filed according to the law but not issued according to the requirements of the law. Now, today, um, we're really looking at this theft because I have some souvenirs from being in jail. Yes. Yes. I didn't actually get um, anything in writing, as if somebody did know that if you give me anything in writing, yes, I'm just going to scan it in. I'm going to put it on a drive. I'm going to put it on Facebook and YouTube. Yes. You know, one of the very disconcerting experiences that I had yesterday is... I was allowed a five-minute free phone call, yeah. but um, I was not able to connect with those that are most important to me, mm -hmm. namely the landlord. Yes. And then I called the public defender's office, right, and they turned their phones off at about 5.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I had mentioned to the officer that read me my rights, the Miranda rights at the start, yes. Well, I think I should have an attorney present with me when being uh, questioned. Yes. And I called the public defender's office from the telephone there in the jail. Poop. But I didn't connect with anybody. Mm. Hmm. Now, how are you supposed to... Oh, I'm just supposed to wait in jail until Monday. <laughs> When they get around to giving me an attorney, mm -hmm. see, this was the really big problem I had. I thought I'd say to the officer that interviewed me about the alleged crime in Squim, Washington, yes. maybe we shouldn't talk about it, and I should wait until an attorney is present. And he would have said, okay, that's fine. Well, take him back to the jail cell. <laughs> and then I'd be in jail right now, wouldn't I? Pouch. 
Yeah, I would. It seems that when you read a person their rights and they say, I'd like to have an attorney present when being questioned, somebody should have notified the public defender's office that I want an attorney there at the time of the interview. You know, now, I don't know if it was recorded. I didn't really pay attention to any webcams or uh, listening devices in that actual room. Yes. But if there was a listening device, yes, or there was any webcam footage of any body cam of any police officer, yeah, I'm going to want that. <laughs> and uh, this whole thought that, well, he's a homeless man, and <laughs> we can say that he looks like some guy that supposedly committed a crime in the middle of a snowstorm using a... Well, why didn't you use the video camera surveillance? Did he not go in the store? Oh, the store was closed at 11 p.m. Ouch. Where did this alleged crime take place? Pow. Now, it's one thing to say, were you in Squim? It's another thing to say, were you at this very location, at this retail outlet? Yes. Now, it could have been the Home Depot. Poop. Could have been the Safeway. <laughs> But to steal something of value greater than $750, there's not a lot of items, right, uh, outside of a store that have that much value. Yeah. Now, it's $750 to $5,000, and I just wonder, mm -hmm, exactly what was it that was the theft? Yes that allegedly I committed, pooch, that caused you to arrest me in the public library because it was an arrest at the time of the public library. You might have put the, the handcuffs on me outside of the library, yes, but everybody in the library got to see three police officers follow me out of the library. <laughs>